what you all been waiting for, ain't it? Ain't it? Hey, what's up, guys? Spawn here from Fever Tips HD. Welcome to another episode of our Path of Possibility series. This is episode two since I've started over, and so hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I couldn't sell those guys in the trade pile, so I just decided to discard them. And as you can see in the beginning, Abdal or Abdu, he got injured, so I needed some depth at center midfielder, and I was debating between Drinkwater and Tab right here. Um, I decided to go with Tab in the 4-4-2 formation. Uh, he had like I think he has the leader trait or the playmaker, one of those, and he also has three star skills, so definitely gonna take that. And then looking for right back, um, Dunn from Ireland, and he's actually pretty decent. He's got I think he's got the long shot trait. He's a pretty decent shooter for a bronze defensive player, so we'll definitely can work with that. As you see, my records two and one. If you saw the last episode, um, pretty good, not a bad start. Uh, just unlucky. I remember I was unlucky in that loss. Then looking for some defenders. Um, because I have such little coins, I'm just trying to keep these coins. I see Zach Wani. I can probably trade him and flip him for a couple more coins. Um, but I just, he's a 5 2 1 2. He's not going to help me right now. Cameron, even I can sell him for maybe a couple more coins. That's for 300 coins by now. That's pretty decent. But I didn't want to waste my coins on guys that I could not use at the moment. Didn't want to have to wait to sell them. And then between Hurd and Hines right here, I go with Hurd. Um, has decent pace and decent defending and heading. And then also uh, a center back from Nottingham, Forrest. Uh, I probably could have used my coins on a better player than him. But, uh, oh well, still got him. And I got Bennett. So I got Bennett at Hurd as my starting center backs, both with like 72 pace, I believe. And uh, definitely pretty decent for some bronze center backs at uh, 60 and 64 overall rating. So as you can see, my striker Dini, Garner. I still want to get Garner in a formation that he at least likes a little bit. I thought when I bought him at the 4-2-1-2, he would like the formation a little, but that was not the case. So I think I do end up uh, selling him for 200 and then buying another one that likes the formation for 200 coins. Just kind of swapped him out. Uh, I don't know if that's in this video or maybe the next, but as you can see, this guy's who I'm playing, he's got... Uh, bronze left back Bal Balanta, I think. Uh, he's got Danny Welbeck, and as you can see right there, Danny Welbeck just finesses it in. Uh, he just kind of stands out against all these bronze players, but Dini right here finesses it right past the goalie. His his finishing is like 70, and I think Garner's is like 71, so that's pretty decent. You know, if he's inside the box, and he's gonna get a at least it on target. And right here, Danny Welbeck with the header. Um, Double posted. That's just that's just unlucky for me, Danny Welbeck. And right here, Dini again. Just completely unlucky for my opponent. I I was trying to just finesse it, and the goalie like slapped it away. And then I don't know if he pushed A, but he passed it back to the goalie, and Dini was just right there. And another goal finesse right past the goalie. I really wanted to win this one. I did not. I don't want to lose. I don't want to show you guys me losing. That's kind of I don't like that, but. Another goal from Welbeck. He was just making mincemeat of my defense right there. And um, it kind of like auto switch for me when I, I usually turn auto switch off just because things like that happen. I was trying to defend from behind and it auto switched and my defender just ran completely the wrong way. And then Dini, you saw the ball roll to beat the goalie. Another step over and then just kind of powers it right past the goalie with that. I'm telling you, he's got 71 finishing. He's one of my favorite players right now. Uh, five goals for Dini, three goals for Welbeck. It seemed like a little two-man show right there. Just Dini versus Welbeck, and Dini won. But uh, pretty did pretty good game. Get the coins with five goals. Definitely going to be a little bit there. So close to a thousand coins. Looking for a right mid. Only guy that I uh, haven't really thought about because I had that other one with three-star skills. But Jason Peters. Has three star skills. He has flair. He's got like, I think 83 pace. Um, definitely a pretty decent player. Um, good on the wing. His shooting at 50 is not too. It's not, it's not too great, but definitely with his pace, he can find some openings and maybe get close to goal. So put in Peters, and then I get a goalie. I was kind of debating which goalie I should get. Uh, I go with the 64 overall. I think he he might be Serbian. So I got the whole squad. All new players, all pretty decent players. Wolford, Spur, Bennett, uh, Woods, Tab, Garner, Dini, Peters, Dunn, 
Um, pretty decent squad. I think I got a couple of guys on the bench going into the bronze tournament. I said in my last episode that I was going to try and win the bronze tournament. Hopefully I can do that. Hopefully I can win the bronze tournament. Then maybe build a silver squad or uh, just do something else. Maybe I'll buy some packs and build a team around one of the players I get in the packs. So maybe leave in the comments what you guys want me to do. If you guys want me to open packs and build a player or build a team around one of the best players or uh, just kind of build, move my way up from the bronze tournament to the silver tournament. And as you can see right here, 47 chemistry for my opponent. Um, that's really not too great. Definitely looking to win. And Dini right there with the ball roll right past the defender and then uh, just uh, slots it past right, right past the goalie. Um, not a finesse shot, just a powered shot. And then Dini again right here. I really like this play. Um, I Look at that. I just knock on right past the, uh, around the defender. And it happens to go to Garner, which is a little unfortunate. Uh, I wanted to keep going with Dini, but Garner does finish, so I'm definitely going to take that. I really wanted to finish that to show you guys. And because um, sometimes when you, it's something like that unexpected goes to a different player um, unexpectedly, it's kind of tough to rebound from it. But um, did that pretty well, finished. So 4-1. to one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Um, that's end of the games. I hopefully in the next episode you guys can see if I win the tournament or not. Um, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I really hope you guys enjoy this. Keep watching. Let me know what you think um, in the comments below. See ya.